morning guys what's up i know you're feeling it because <clears throat> i am i'm getting knocked upside the head with all these energies listen to my voice <clears throat> me, me, me. it's intense ascension symptoms guys you are not the only one going through it and you're not crazy hang in there boo I'm going to talk to you about some symptoms that you guys would be experiencing. Um, the last video I did of the Ascension symptoms basically was PowerPoint and got about 600 views. So I know uh, there are more of you guys out there. I know you're feeling alone. I know you're feeling down. I know you're feeling drained, defeated, tired. Don't. Look at my face. I know. I know. It's okay. I got you, boo. The reason why I started this channel was because I was always feeling alone. And I always felt like I was the only one going through the stuff. And I did feel crazy. So don't feel alone. And you're definitely not crazy. Because what you're going to start to experience first is a change in your sleep pattern. Okay? You're going to be up one day. You're going to be super tired the next day. Um, you will basically sleep a lot more on certain days and then on other days you'll only get a little bit of sleep and it'll still feel like you had a full good night's rest. Your body is just recalibrating and reintegrating to the new energies that are coming in and you're like, damn, what the fuck? Woo, time out, something shit, you know? So... You will also experience stuff with your memory. So you're going to start to feel like, ooh, what? Like brain farts more often. You're going to feel more foggy. You're going to feel like you're out there more. Again, it's like a computer, right? We're cleaning out all the bad crap before we let the new stuff in. Memory lapses, short or long-term loss, a sense of time, feeling ungrounded and feeling scattered. Time distortion is also another thing. If you're stuck in Tuesday and it's Thursday and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> I skipped out on two whole solid days. <laughs> yeah, you're going through a shift. <laughs> uh, body temperature, flu-like symptoms. If you have aches or chills, that's also another thing. You're integrating to the energies. You're shifting. We're always shifting all day, every day, 24-7, all the time. Dizziness. If you start to feel drunk and you're not drunk, that's also another indicator. You're like, all right, hold the fuck out. <laughs> Woo! I'm feeling like I had two sake bombers and I didn't even go to a restaurant. That's how you know, too. <laughs> uh, dizziness, vertigo, loss of balance, migraines, headaches, sinus, <laughs> neck or back pain. <laughs> You're going to be all kinds of messed up. So basically, it's going to be like you're pregnant, but not really. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Not really. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, guys have their moments. But anyways, changes in vision, blurred vision or seeing things out of the corner of your eyes. Mother so your vision will start to change. You will start to notice that if you blink... And you're looking in certain areas you will notice more shadows coming in so if you're noticing more shadows you're noticing more light you're noticing more flashes of lights you're probably feeling a shift in frequency and or energy whatever you want to call it tinnitus ringing in one ear or both ears or maybe you're more sensitive to sound now that could also have something to do with your uh how you were born you know because depending on if you have the clamps that go around here or if you have the suction that does pull from the top you may have long-term effects with that so again it could be tinnitus um it could be you know the way that you were pulled out from birth but if you notice that you are having more ringing of the ears you're just talking one day and you're like oh yeah listen ee! that's another one or they get a little lower and they start to change too. So if you notice that, those frequencies will change. Tingling, buzzing, electricity, hands, body, or limbs. Sometimes I feel like I have so much energy and I'm just like, Psh. I swear I have 
lightning bolts just coming out of my fingers. I'm like, I need to do something. I don't know. I need to get out of here. I need to just go run at the top of the mountain, touch it, and then come back down, you know? <laughs> come back. Lethargy. So you're more lethargic. You're more tired. Whew, I have been sleeping so much. I've been sleeping so much. Look at the dark. Yes. My eyes are swollen too, but it's okay. You're going to be sleeping more. And then when you sleep, you're going to be sleeping hard like a rock. I'm going to tell you, I will go in. I'll take a dirt nap. Psh, whatever. If you guys don't know what a dirt nap is, figure it out. <laughs> dirt nap. You know, you just want to crawl in the dirt like a mole and just, you know. And then when you wake up, you're like a flower. You're like, bing, I blew. You know, yes, when you wake up and you come out, it's bing. <laughs> so when you sleep. Don't be surprised if you wake up feeling a little bit more tired or more tired. <laughs> uh, joint aches, sudden unexplained pain and stiffness. If it feels like somebody cracked your back with a bat, whew, you better get, to, blah, blah, better get that checked out. I'm just kidding. But you're going to wake up with more sores, more, more aches and pains. You know, it's just... We're these little itty bitty bodies and we have all this energy running through us. So that's what I tell people when I when we do Reiki. We're all radios, we're all frequencies. We're little radios and we just have to be attuned to those certain frequencies. So right now we're all basically going through attunements. So you're gonna have your crown and your root blown, you know. <laughs> um, physical health, seemingly getting worse. If it feels like you're gonna die or you kind of feel like you're gonna die, you're on the right path. No. <laughs> no, but for reallys though, because when you're going through these types of things, you always have to cleanse out or purge before you let the good energy and everything in. And needs to make sure you got all the nasty girl thoughts out of your body. <laughs> yeah, muscle aches, sudden, unexplained, intermittent twitching and muscle spasm. So yeah, you're gonna be. Feeling it, changes in eating. Definitely a loss in appetite, hungry all the time. Food taste change or taste buds. You know, like if your taste buds one day liked onions and then now they're acting like a bougie girl, don't be surprised because you will notice that not only does your food change, but what you like to drink, what you like to eat, what you put in your body, you're really going to start to pay attention to it now because you're going to realize that everything that you put in your body has an effect on you. Just like if you're going through the ascension flu and you know you're extra emotional one day, boo-boo, do not get on social media. Ew, just don't. I know I don't because I'll cry as shit. Changes in sleep, yes. Memory lapses. So yeah, we went through all of them. Um, be kind to yourself. Rest. Um, heh, I'm freaking addicted to the gym. I really am. I'm addicted to feeling bomb as hell. But sometimes we just have to take a chill because our body and our brain is recalibrating and we are going through a lot. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of the stuff that's going on outside of the ethers that will also feel that too. So just think. We have retrograde, we have planets aligned, and we got motherfuckers chilling out on the outside of the atmosphere. The atmosphere, yes. <laughs> we feel that, guys. We are sensitive. We're humans. We are energetic beings living in these fucking vessels for right now. So we just have to make the, the most of it, you know. We have to make the most of it. Mm. I create my own language, so if you guys don't know, stay tuned. <sighs> choke away your day guys breathe be kind to yourself <sighs> and if you guys want to drop something in the comments drop something if not that's cool hope you guys have a good day and i'm just sending some choke away your way <sighs> this is the power symbol this is me turning the choke away on so you guys are going to have a bomb ass day Boop. Bye, guys.